guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're finally gonna be revealing to you guys our home gym. Mm -hmm. So you guys have seen little sneak peeks of this home gym already in some of our stories and some of our videos. But we're finally gonna give you guys a full tour and Mel has some behind the scenes clips. Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. I gotta be real quick because the camera is about to die and I did not know that. But today I'm running a, a bunch of errands. I got a lot of stuff to do. Right now I'm about to go grab the plate weights for um, and a couple dumbbells for our gym. So I'm super excited for that. I'm about to go pick that up right now. Gotta go to Home Depot, get a couple things for uh, for me to start painting the walls in the gym as well. So got a couple things to do today. I'm getting a way later start than I expected, but oh well. All right, y'all, so it's been like three hours since I filmed the last part. All the errands I had to run were a success. I got everything that I needed, literally everything. Uh, so I'm about to start working on everything. Unfortunately, the camera died right before I left. So I didn't even take it with me. I just brought it inside to charge it up so I'm able to use it once I got back. So I'm gonna be filming the process for you guys of me painting the walls. And getting Guys, I can't lie, I am exhausted. I gotta wrap it up for the day. My arms are literally like, feel like I just did a full arm workout. But I made a pretty good dent today. I'm glad with the progress that I made. I got a lot done in a very little bit of time. All right, so you see I got a pretty much this entire wall done besides the top. I just have to order a ladder off Amazon. I went to Home Depot and all the ones were like super expensive or they were like too tall or too short. So I'm gonna order one off Amazon so I can get those top um, areas. As you can see over here, I kind of quit early, but that's because my paint started drying out and I knew I was getting tired, so I didn't want to refill it. So I was like, I'm just gonna go until like, I can't go no more. So this is where I ended at, where I dried out. Um, that little spot right there, I might need to smooth that out. I don't want it to dry like that, but it looks really good. I'm excited. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna have to come in and hit the details right here. Um, you know, there's a little trimming details down here. And then I'm gonna stop like right here. So I'm gonna like tape up from where the side of the door is. So as you guys can see, I am all finished with the wall. It's not perfect, like as you can see, there's a little stain up there where I accidentally hit. And just along the top of the trimmings, it's, there's some spots that could be a little bit better. But if I wanted perfection, I would have just hired somebody. It's good enough for me, and I don't think that anybody would notice that. And we're getting a mirror that's gonna take up most of this wall space. So to me, it looks really good, man. Job done. Looks like a whole different vibe, whole different room in here. And now that I step back, I just noticed a spot that I missed. How did I miss that? All right, so I passed that up real quick. And also I forgot to mention for like these little spots, like this one where I messed up, I actually do have the exact white color for our ceilings and walls. All right, now it's time to clean up this mess. I've just been neglecting, like I know it looks bad, but I've just been neglecting it. like. I haven't been cleaning up as I go and stuff like that because I knew like it would be pointless. So now I'm about to get to it real quick. we quickly realized that this two car garage was not a two car garage. Mm -hmm. We both drive SUVs and there's no way that two cars can fit in this garage. Maybe if we had like a sedan and an yeah. SUV will I mean, fit they, or they two could, sedans. They could fit, but we wouldn't really, we squeeze. wouldn't have like room on the side for storage yeah. or you know, it would be difficult to get in and out of our cars. We need a home gym. So you guys know with the quarantine, with the lockdown, gyms were open. And then with that, we just had a baby too. Looking at it now, we're like, there's no way that we would make the time to go to the gym. Yeah. How would that work? Like you would go first. Yeah, and I, and I was trying, like I would go in the morning while she would stay with Vaughn, but the only gym open while everything was shut down was like 25 minutes away. Yeah. So like, it was it was very inconvenient and kind of like exhausting by the time you got to the gym, you're like, man, like 
I barely um, even want to work out, but I just drove just 30 minutes. Just an hour just to drive there and exactly. back. So yeah, quickly we realized us driving to the gym, even once they open up again, it was just not gonna happen. We would always make excuses and we just end up just never going to the gym. At first we're thinking like, where are we gonna put this home gym? Are we gonna put it on our upstairs balcony? Like our master bedroom has a balcony. Mm -hmm. But then we're like, well, the weather is gonna be, we're gonna be dependent on the weather. And yeah. then we and then I would create even more excuses if it was on I know. a balcony. And we like, oh, it's windy today, today. Yeah. you know. And then also on top of that, we're like, we want our family to use this gym too. So Yasmin comes on the treadmill like every single night. Mm -hmm. We wanted like, Baba comes in here and lifts weights. We wanted our family yeah. to be able to use this gym when they're here. So that's another reason too. We we just wanted to have the freedom of not having to wait for machines. So then I was finally like, you know what? We can only fit one car in this garage anyway. We have a whole half of a garage. Let's just turn this half into our gym. And it's honestly the perfect size. It's the perfect size for one person or even two people. Mm -hmm. And you have your treadmill. We have a TV. Like you literally have everything that you need just in the small space. We have the mirrors. It's just like the perfect little personal gym. Yeah. And you know, it's nothing intense. It's nothing crazy. I feel like this is pretty achievable in most like garages. Yeah. So yeah, as Nas was saying, this is like a very very achievable gym setup because in hindsight there's a couple things that we're missing if we wanted to make it like a complete gym but this is more than enough to get a full body workout we have no more excuses anymore like there's no excuse to yeah. not just come down to our garage and work out mm -hmm. and it quickly has gotten me back into the gym honestly if it wasn't for this i still would not have been working out so yeah guys if you're new to our channel we'd love if you guys give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe down below for more videos and then mm -hmm. also make sure you guys click your post notifications so you never miss out on a video from us so without further ado, am I gonna leave the tour or are you? What's up guys? <laughs> Long time no see. Welcome to the Wade Home Gym. Uh, as you can see, we have a nice, beautiful black paint job. If you guys remember, or if you've been around for a long time, this is the same exact paint color that I have in my man cave. Anyways, let's get into this tour. So we have the weight rack. We ordered this weight rack actually off Amazon. So it's pretty easy to, uh, to acquire if any of you guys are looking to get something like this. Um, we have our weights here. We have two sets of fives, a 10, 15, 20, 25, and a 45. Then we have the TV here. This is actually another part of the gym that I didn't do. Mounting TVs is not something I am confident with doing. Uh, but we have the LED lights behind here. So then we come over here We have this section where we have kind of just our other like loose equipment So there's leg bands like three pound weights some uh, like ab rollers and different little like equipment and accessories You may need in the gym yoga mats uh, The little thing that goes on your neck for squats Baba thought this was for me to keep my hands even, which is also a good way to use this I guess and shout out to fit with sis if you guys are putting together a gym Follow them on Instagram, they are good friends of ours and they make a lot of amazing gym equipment. That's also the same brand of our um, leg bands and things too. Um, I also have this uh, outlet cover in black. I ordered this off Amazon as well. This is something like before this, I would have never even thought about doing, but I'm like, I feel like since we painted the wall a dark color, a dark outlet cover would look good as well. So went ahead and went with that. And then we have my favorite part of the gym, the PRX Performance bench rack, I believe it's called. So you have uh, pull-ups and chin-ups you can hit. We have a, a men's barbell and a woman's barbell. So a men's barbell is 45 pounds with no weight. A women's barbell is 35 pounds with no weight. Um, and then you see the bench here. The bench folds out so that you can you know, do bench press or seated squats or abs or whatever you wanna do uh, using the bench. The great thing about this, if you're thinking about putting this in your gym, whether it be in a garage, if it's in a garage and you wanna save space and also park a car or in a bedroom and you need to save some space, you can lift it and it presses up against the wall so that it's virtually not even there. You have, you have so much more extra space. And then since we do have cave on it, obviously we need to make sure it's safe. There's this lock. Slide it through, and then you stick this in, and then now it's locked, and it's not going anywhere. So we love this thing. It really was like the center and the start of our gym. And, and also from the same website, you can purchase these uh, weight holders. So we have a 2.5, 5, a 10 pound, 25, 35, and 45 on both sides. And just so you guys aren't confused, 
Just the pegs that hold the weights are from the same brand. The weights we actually ordered from OfferUp. Smart place to look if you are thinking about starting a gym because nine times out of 10, you're getting a cheaper price and you can get them in a bundle. So we were able to get all these plates and the dumbbells from the same person, which saved us a lot of money. And I also have to come here, turn on her YouTube videos and do her ab workouts. So this creates so much more space within the gym to do those type of workouts or if I just wanted to do loose uh, you know, squats without the rack or uh, military presses or anything like that. This just opens up so much more space for you to be able to do any type of floor workouts or just free range workouts in general. Now at this point, I'm gonna switch it over to wifey because this is kind of like my corner. The weights is really like the main thing that I do when I come in here. And now Nas is gonna touch on some of our cardio. Okay, so here is one of the machines that we have in our home gym. I actually had Mel just push it forward real quick. Um, just to make it easier for filming purposes because this is like against pretty much the garage door But this here is our Nordic track RW 900 row machine And we love this machine so much because of the giant screen that comes with it We'll give you guys a better look with the b-roll, but it comes with this giant screen with iFit and I'm someone who needs a trainer. I'm someone who needs someone to guide me during my workouts. I love classes like before the quarantine and stuff. I love going to Pilates. I love going to hot yoga. So for me, the hardest part with working out at home was not having, you know, someone guide me or tell me what to do pretty much. Another huge reason I was so excited for a row machine is because the biggest part of my body that I'm insecure about and that I really want to tone up is my upper back and my shoulders. And again, I'm not no fitness expert. I didn't really have any idea on how to tone that up. And the row machine just made it so easy and simple for me to learn moves. To help tone up my back and this machine is so dope because even if I'm not using the row machine I can easily tilt the screen like this and then use the side of the gym to follow along another workout video on iFit so the great thing about iFit as well is that it just measures your progress and also tracks all of your workouts and then it will take that information and then give you recommendations based on your goals so you just let iFit know how many calories you're aiming to burn every week and it will give you like workouts specifically to help you reach all those goals you'd be surprised with this machine because it doesn't just target your back it literally gives you that full body workout so if you guys want to try out nordic track for yourselves with ifit you guys can click the link down below in the description box to get your hands on your own nordic track so we love this brand so much we love this machine and you guys will love this ifit so my favorite type of class to do on ifit are the ones that are in the studio because it literally makes me feel like i'm back in the gym back taking classes so this one's my favorite body weight burner so it's like an hour long, it's a full body workout. So I'll also play music in the background, but for obviously copyright purposes, I'm gonna turn that off. But again, it's just so cool. You have your instructor right in front of you, guiding you through the whole entire workout. Shoulders down and back, make sure your hands are not super like tight towards the middle. It's just a nice like grip towards the edges, almost like you're just rolling with a few fingers. And now pull the handlebar towards your rib cage, right to that bra line. Good, I'm talking my guys for that. Good, release your handlebar. Pull it back in towards your chest. Back in, awesome. Release the handlebar, now just hinge forward. Handlebar goes past your knees, you feel a stretch in your hamstrings, and lean back. So again, the great thing about iFit is that the instructor will walk you through every single thing, so even if you're not that experienced in the gym. Good, let's straighten the legs. Let's lean back, handlebar comes in. Release your handlebar, hinge forward, bend the knees, good. So again, the instructor just make it so fun to work out and do these classes. And then also the machine will automatically change the resistance for you. So you guys don't have to keep adding weights or anything like that. So as the workout gets harder, your resistance will change automatically as well. So then over here in this back corner, we have our treadmill. Now getting a treadmill in your house is honestly a game changer. Even if you're not doing like a whole you know, gym in your house, I think like treadmill or like a rowing machine, just getting like one machine to put in your house is amazing for getting your at-home workout. So I feel like everyone and their mom and now they're doing 12, 3, 30. So I love having this in the house to be able to just come downstairs, even if I'm not doing like a full body workout, I can just in 30 minutes get, you know, a good workout in and just do 12, 3, 30. So we purposely put this over here so that we can watch the TV while we're on the treadmill. But I quickly realized that I like don't have the patience for a show when I'm working out. When I'm doing 12, 3, 30, I love just scrolling through TikTok. I swear, it makes it go by so fast. So yeah, I love this treadmill so much for that. And then also, as you guys can see, we do have some mirrors put up. So these mirrors, we actually got custom made. The same local company that did these mirrors did the glass um, tabletop for my desk upstairs. So yeah, they do glass and mirrors. I would just look up on Yelp, you know, uh, custom mirrors near me or anything like that. I know you can get mirrors from like Home Depot and stuff, but we really wanted like a custom fit because this is 
a specific size we needed and then also I'm going to show you guys the outlet over here with the outlet we wanted that to be mirrored as well and also if we just bought mirrors ourselves and hung it up it just would not have looked as good and especially with the outlet it just it would not have worked like but we have cut that ourselves like it, we don't like to do stuff ourselves, honestly, because we don't like to mess up. So I'll show you guys how the outlet looks with the custom mirror. So here's what I was talking about, about the mirror fitting the outlet like perfectly. Honestly, I feel like if we did this ourselves, like how would we have done this? I feel like we would have just ended up, you know, putting the mirror over the outlet. So I'm really glad we have that done as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are thinking about building a gym of your own, hopefully we gave you guys a little bit of inspiration or some ideas of equipment and where to purchase. And don't forget to click the link down below for your Nordic track and check out your iFit. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, link will be down below to check out your Nordic track. They also have way more than just row machines. They also have treadmills and really fun stuff like that, and ellipticals. So once you guys have an iFit account, so this treadmill also has iFit as well. So iFit works on like so many different machines, which is really cool. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, a thumbs up will really help us out. And also, if you have any questions about anything that we have in the gym and you want some advice for your home gym, let us know. I feel like we're experts now at this point yeah. after like what we've been through. Just in home. So, in general yeah it's so crazy once you guys like get your own home you really just learn everything like i feel like we were so we were so naive yeah. when we first i mean guys we just bought a grill today so we'll get into yeah, that later like, we're working on our outdoor kitchen there's so now. many things that we lot. never thought about ever purchasing in life yeah. that we've been purchasing recently thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you again for our next video bye guys